Hey my loves, my name is Cherie and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out the new Huda Beauty Fox Filter Luminous Matte Foundation. I'm really excited about trying this foundation out because when I was in Sephora, I did a little swatch test and the foundation disappeared into my skin. So I was like, I have to try this out. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I picked this foundation up in the color peanut butter cup which is the number 455R. Here is what the packaging look like. Very sleek, very simple. Love it. So let's just put it on. Of course before I put on any foundation I like to prime my skin. So I am applying a hydrating primer but you can use a primer that works best for your skin type. So now it's time to apply the foundation. I'm going to start with maybe two pumps on the back of my hand. I like to dot the foundation all over my face. Well, not all over my face, but mostly in three parts of my face. And now I'm going to take a brush and start tapping. Can you guys see me? Let me zoom you in. Hopefully that's close enough. So I'm going to start tapping this foundation into my skin. At first, it looks a little scary. This is exactly what happened when I was in Sephora. I didn't know if it would match, but then it just started to melt into my skin. I was like, girl! So with my forehead, my forehead is actually the darkest part of my face so the foundation it doesn't necessarily match my forehead but we're going to make it work so this is a full coverage foundation I feel like it dries a little bit faster than some of my other foundations and it's definitely full coverage. My little imperfections that I have over here, they are barely, barely peeking through. I'm going to put a little bit more foundation on the back of my hand and kind of cover up those blemishes a little bit more boom 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 i definitely should have picked up a darker shade because it is about to be the summer months or the spring and summer months so i typically get darker this time of year but listen i am not mad at this foundation yes girl all right so the foundation is on i'm now going to complete the rest of my foundation and makeup routine Give me a minute, okay? Just bear with me. person who wears full coverage foundation because I personally 
I don't know, it's something about that full on thick foundation. And I don't know, it bothers me. But this foundation is not heavy, it's not thick, none of that. It actually is very comfortable to wear on the face. The foundation literally just like melted into my skin and I love it. I love this foundation. So I have my phone out on the Sephora website so I can give you a little bit more details. There are 39 shades. This foundation retails for $40. They have the highlights as it's a liquid formula, matte finish, it's vegan, which is always a plus, full coverage, fragrance free. Yeah, there's definitely no fragrance to, yeah, no fragrance and it's cruelty free as well. So. As for some further details, it is a cult favorite fragrance free foundation with full coverage up to 24 hours of wear. Girl, <laughs> I don't wear my foundation for 24 hours. So if you would like to try that out, let me know down in the comment section. How did it work out for you? For me, this is kind of like a four to six hour type of situation and it has to come off because I actually do not like to have foundation and a bunch of makeup on my face for long periods of time. It sounds crazy. I love putting it on, but I just don't want to wear it all day. <laughs> I like the application of makeup. I like to put it on, take my pictures, and then I, I want to take it off. I don't actually want to wear it all day long. Four to six hours, which is pretty long, right? What else? And the last thing, it has a luminous matte finish. Definitely true. I do feel a little bit of radiance coming from the foundation. And it's definitely matte as well. How do they do that? How do you make it matte, which is typically dry and dull, right? Or maybe I'm wrong. Well, when I think about matte foundations, I just think about this flat, dull finish. But this one does have like some luminosity to it. I don't know, that's really interesting. I guess foundations are evolving. So that's the end of today's video. Overall, I really like this foundation. I plan on wearing it for special occasions, you know, date night, things of that nature. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Also, stay tuned because I have tons of spring content coming your way. You're going to love it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.